Cologne here, the Distance Education Coordinator, and I'm going to show you today how you can add a rubric to your assignment. It's very easy in Canvas. As you can see, I have my assignment. I have all of my information about my assignment. Once I have saved, I see that I have this plus sign for the rubric. I can click on that plus sign and now I have a template for the rubric. Now for some of us, we have rubrics already created and we can click on find a rubric and bring that into the assignment. If we do not have a rubric already created, we can start filling out some of the information including adding new criteria. We can also add new ratings here to expand this. Now, you can select these pencils and you can edit this information. You want to be as descriptive as possible. That way your students have a best chance of producing exemplary work. Very easy. You can decide to write free form comments or use this rubric for assignment grading. Very nice in our speed grader or we can hide the score total for assessments results. I usually default to use this rubric for assignment grading. That way when I'm in the speed grader, I can just select those ratings that are full points or hit below the marks and then it adds it up for me. Make sure after you put all that information in, you click on create rubric so it saves. It's always going to be there and the great thing is once you create it, you'll be able to add it to each assignment where this particular rubric applies. Just like this, go into find a rubric and go find that rubric that you created. Okay, it's a little different for discussion forums. Once you have your discussion forum set up, you're going to click on the cogwheel and select add rubric. The rubric template will appear and you can either find one that you've created already and bring it in or you can actually create it right here in this template. I think you'll like this and students really appreciate having rubrics to help them produce exemplary work. Once the student clicks on the assignment, they'll be able to read all about the assignment and at the bottom of the assignment, the rubric will be embedded. Very convenient and easy. For the discussion, it's a little different. The student will have to click on the cogwheel to show rubric and then the rubric will appear. All right, thanks. I hope this has helped.